Winston Conrad Wink Martindale is an American disc jockey, radio personality, game show host, and television producer. In his six-decade career, he is best known for hosting Tic Tac Doe from 1978 to 1985. Gambit from 1972 to 1976, and Debt from 1996 to 1998. Career Equals Radio Equals, Martindale was born in Jackson, Tennessee, and started his career as a disc jockey at age 17 at WPLI in Jackson, earning $25 a week. After moving to WTJS, he was hired away for double the salary by Jackson's only other station, WDXI. He next hosted mornings at WHBQ in Memphis while a college student at Memphis State University, graduating with a Bachelor of Science degree in 1957. While there, Martindale became a member of the Kappa Sigma fraternity. Martindale's rendition of the spoken word song Deck of Cards went to number 7 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart and sold over a million copies in 1959. It also peaked at number 5 in the UK Singles Chart in April 1963, one of four visits to that chart. It was followed by Black Land Farmer. In 1959, he became Morning Man at KHJ in Los Angeles, California, moving a year later to the morning show at KRLA and finally to KFWB in 1962. He also had lengthy stays at KGIL. KKGOKJQING Nortris KMPC. In 1967, Martindale narrated a futuristic documentary which predicted Internet commerce. Equals Television Equals. Martindale's first break into television was at WHBQ TV in Memphis, as the host of Mars Patrol, a science fiction themed children's television program. At his tenure with WHBQ, Martindale became the host of the TV show Teenage Dance Party, where his friend Elvis Presley made an appearance. Following Presley's death in 1977, Martindale aired a nationwide tribute radio special in his honor. Martindale's first game show hosting job was on the show What's This Song, which he hosted for NBC in 1964. His first successful show would not come for another eight years when he took the MC position on a new CBS game show, Gambit. He spent four years hosting the original Gambit and later hosted a Las Vegas-based revival for 13 months in 1980-81. The MC role for which Martindale is most widely known is on Tic Tac Doe. He was tapped by Barry and Dan Wright Productions to host the revived series in 1978 and stayed there until 1985, presiding over one of the more popular game shows of the day. During this time, Martindale decided to branch out and form his own production company, Wink Martindale Enterprises, so he could develop and produce his own game shows. His first venture was Headline Chasers, a co-production with Merv Griffin that premiered in 1985. Martindale had left Tic Tac Doe to host his creation, but the show did not meet with any success and was cancelled after its only season in 1986. Martindale's next venture was more successful, as he created and, along with Barry and Dan Wright, co-produced the Canadian game show Bumper Stumpers for Global Television and USA Network. This series aired on both American and Canadian television from 1987 until 1990. After hosting two short-lived Merrill Heater-produced game shows, Martindale went back into producing and launched The Great Getaway Game on Travel Channel in 1990. Two years after that program went off the air, Martindale teamed up with Bill Hillier and the Family Channel to produce a series of interactive game shows that put an emphasis on home viewers being able to play along from home and win prizes. Four series were commissioned and Martindale served as host for all four. The first to premiere was Trivial Pursuit, an adaptation of the popular trivia-based board game that started on June 7, 1993. On March 7, 1994, the list-based Shuffle and Boggle, another board game adaptation, premiered and were much different from Trivial Pursuit which was presented more in a traditional game show style. These two programs, along with the Jumble-based show that replaced Shuffle on June 13, 1994, after its initial 14-week run ended, were played more like the interactive games for the home viewers that were the focus of the block. Except for Trivial Pursuit. None of the interactive games was much of a success. 
Bogle ended on November 18, 1994, while Jumble came to an end on December 30, 1994. Trivial Pursuit ended on the same day as Jumble, but continued to air in reruns for some time afterward, finally being removed from the Family Channel schedule in July 1995. In June 1996, Martindale became host of the Lifetime quiz show Debt, which had debt-ridden contestants compete to try to eliminate their debts. After Debt ended in 1998, Martindale did not host another game show for over a decade. Equals Later Career Equals, on June 2, 2006, Martindale received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In 2007, he became a member of the nominating committee of the Hit Parade Hall of Fame. On October 13, 2007, Martindale was one of the first inductees into the American TV Game Show Hall of Fame in Las Vegas. Martindale was one of the hosts featured in the NBC special Most Outrageous Game Show Moments, alongside Bob Eubanks, Jim Lang, Ben Stein, and Peter Marshall, but was not featured in any of the subsequent episodes ordered by the network. Martindale has appeared in various TV commercials, including a stint as a pitchman for the travel website Orbits. Until 2007, Martindale had a daily three-hour show on the syndicated Music of Your Life format, which is heard on around 200 radio stations. On June 2, 2009, Martindale signed with the syndicated Hit Parade radio format. The format began operation on February 7, 2010, with Martindale as afternoon drive personality. The syndicator stopped operating on June 6, 2010. In 2008, Wink appeared on GSN Live, an interstitial program during the afternoon block of classic game show reruns. Several times during 2008, Martindale filled in for Fred Roggin on GSN Live while Roggin was on vacation. Martindale's last program was the GSN original series Instant Recall, which premiered on March 4, 2010. Instant Recall was the first show Martindale has hosted since Dead aired on Lifetime from 1996 to 1998. In 2012, Martindale returned to radio, as host of the 100 Greatest Christmas Hits of All Time. The nationally syndicated show is produced by Envision Radio Networks. In 2014, Martindale started his own YouTube channel, called Wings Vault, featuring episodes of game shows, game show pilots, rare clips from various game shows, and more. Personal life, he divorced his first wife Madeline in 1971, and married his second wife, Sandy, in 1975. He has four children, all from his first marriage, Lisa, Lynn, Laura, and Wink, Jr. He also has seven grandchildren, Emma Lay, Stephen, and Blake from Lisa, Matthew and Hannah from Lynn, and Erin and Tara from Laura plus three great-grandchildren from Amelia Euro Emma, Charlie, and Ellie. Wink has a few dogs named after the various game shows he hosted. Martindale is a born-again Christian. In popular culture, Baltimore Ravens inside linebacker coach Don Martindale goes by the nickname Wink as a nod to Martindale. In the Pinky and the Brain episode Snowball, the brain tries to foil the hamster snowball scheme to use a chain letter to achieve world domination by creating a new national holiday called Wink Martindale Day to close post offices and upset the letter's deliveries. On season 9 of NCIS, Dr. Ryan compares special agent Tony Dinozzo to a game show host, then refers to him as Wink Martindale. In a later episode, she revives the joke, simply calling him Wink. References External links, Wink Martindale at the Internet Movie Database, Interview with Wink Martindale.